Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyavaru and in today's session I'm going to discuss simplification. I'm going to discuss some very interesting questions. So make sure you are there till the end because with each question the difficulty level is going to increase. As you can see this is a complete English medium video especially made for our students from South India, especially made for our students from Northeast India like students from Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala because they are well versed in English face some difficulty when we speak in Hindi. So if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and while subscribing make sure you press the bell icon also. So let's get started with the first question and be there till the end. Now let's look at the question on your screen. 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3. Such a series is continuing till 1 minus 1 by 100. Seems to be a dangerous looking question. Let's make it simple. My simpler methods will help you a lot. So students 1 minus 1 by 2. From the first term I get 1 by 2. I have simply subtracted 1 by 2 from 1. So from the first term I get 1 by 2. From the second term what will I get? 1 minus 1 by 3. Students I will get 2 by 3. Think of the third term. Think of the third term in this series. It will be what? It will be 1 minus 1 by 4, yes or no? It will be 1 minus 1 by 4. So from the third term, I will get 3 by 4. So such a series continues. And what will come out of the second last term? Students, such a series continues where? Now the important part is where the numerator. Students, where the numerator of the next term, the numerator of the next term gets cancelled by the gets cancelled by the denominator of the previous term. Can you see that? The numerator of the next term gets cancelled by the denominator in the previous term in the term before it. So 2 and 2 get cancelled. Similarly 3, the numerator of the next term will get cancelled by the 3 which is in the denominator. This 3 is in the denominator in the previous term. Sure. So 3 will also get cancelled out. Similarly, from the second last term, what will I get? 1 minus 1 by 19, I get 98 by 99. 1 minus 1 by 99, that was the second last term. What is the last term, students? The last term is 1 minus 1 by 100, so it will give me 99 by 100. That means the 99 will get cancelled. I told you what happens. The numerator of the next term will cancel out the denominator of the previous term. So this 100 will remain. This 100, the denominator will remain because it has to get cancelled. Students, it has to get cancelled by the numerator of the next term. But do we have the next term? Ask yourself, do we have the next term? If we had the next term, if we had the next term, 1 minus 1 upon 101. If we had this next term, then this 100 would have get would have got cancelled out. Then we would have had 100 upon 101. We would have had 100 upon 101. Then this 100 would have been cancelled out by the numerator of the next term. But we don't have this term. But we don't have this term. So students, this 100 will remain. This 100 from the last term will remain. So what will what does it turn out to be? There is 100 in the denominator and this one in the numerator. So the answer is 1 upon 100. The answer is 1 upon 100. Isn't it smart? So if you like our smart method of teaching, then call upon the numbers which are given on your screen. Get connected with our representatives. They will tell you how to become a part of our live classes. That way you will become a part of our live classes and you will also get video lectures. You will get study material. You will get test series. You will get everything that you require to crack SSC, banking and other competitive exams. So don't wait, speak with our representatives right away, be a part of our live classes. Let's look at the next question, difficulty level will increase. So don't go anywhere and look at the question which is now available. 2 minus 2 by 3 into 2 minus 3 by 4. Such a series continues till 2 minus 99 upon 100. So look at how to solve such a series? First of all, identify the pattern. 
the numerator is one less than the denominator. Numerator is one less than the denominator. So two minus two by three, that is the first term. The third, the second term is two minus three by four. What will the third term be? Students, the third term will be two minus four by five. Similarly, we are going on. Similarly, we are going on. The second last term is two minus ninety-eight upon ninety-nine, and the last term is two minus ninety-nine by hundred. Now we will make it simple. Two minus two by three. Three turns out to be the LCM. So when three turns out to be the LCM, two threes are six. Six minus two four four by three. That comes from the first term. The first term gives you four by three. What will the second term give you? Solve it. Two four is eight. Four is the LCM. Four is the LCM. Two four is eight. Eight minus three five. The second term gives you five by four. Students, let's look at the third term. Five is the LCM. Five is the LCM. Two five is a ten. Ten minus four six. Six by five. That's how the series continues. Now what is happening? Look at it carefully. The numerator of the previous term the numerator of the previous term gets cancelled by the denominator of the next term the numerator is going to get cancelled by the denominator of the next term 4 gets cancelled by the 4 coming after it similarly this 5 in the numerator the numerator will get cancelled by the denominator of the term which comes next This five in the numerator gets cancelled by the denominator coming next. So we are left with this three out here. We are left with this three because this three students this three does not have this three does not have a three coming before it so that it can get cancelled out. So this three will remain. Now let's look at the second last term. What will we get from the second last term? Ninety nine is the LCM. Two into ninety nine minus ninety eight gives you hundred. Hundred upon ninety nine. What comes from the last term? Hundred is the LCM. Two into hundred. Solve it. Two into hundred minus ninety nine gives you one zero one. Similarly, the hundred gets cancelled. The hundred gets cancelled. This one zero one will remain. Students, this one zero one will remain because the numerator. How is the numerator getting cancelled? By the denominator from the term coming next, but do we have the next term? No, we don't have the next term. So this one zero one, which has to get cancelled by the denominator from the next term, it will stay because the series ends out here. The series ends out here. This one zero one will remain in the numerator. So what we have is this one zero one from the last term. And this three from the first term, sure. Numerator one zero one from the last term. Denominator three from the first term. The answer turns out to be one zero one upon three, sure. Hasn't it become simple? Let's look at the final question for today, and let's look at the pattern. A little different. This pattern is a little different. It involves, let's see, some sort of multiplication also. One by two. Plus one by six, plus one by twelve, plus one by twenty. Such a series continues till one upon n minus one into n. Now let's observe. In the first term, I have two students. Can I not write two as one into two? Of course, one into two. I can write two as one into two. That's how I've written the first term. The second term has six. So students, six can be written as two into three. Six can be written as two into three, so one upon two into three. I've written six as a multiplication of two and three. Now you can see in the denominator there is a multiplication of successive numbers. One into two, one into two was the denominator in the first term. Two into three, which is six, is the denominator in the second term. So what will be the denominator in the third term? One by twelve. The denominator will be three into four. So every time I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying successive numbers. So what will be the next one? Twenty can be written as one upon four into five. So four into five. The next numbers are getting multiplied. 
similarly this multiplication is continuing till 1 upon n minus 1 into n but there's something else also students 1 by 2 1 by 2 what is 1 by 2 i can write 1 by 2 as 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 2 very simply i have written 1 by 2 as 1 minus 1 by 2 yes or no so from the first term from the first term i get this 1 minus 1 by 2 similarly 1 by 6 how do we arrive at 1 by 6 when i subtract now listen to me carefully when i subtract 1 by 3 from 1 by 2 yes or no so look at this multiplication 1 upon 2 into 3 what does it ultimately turn out to be 1 by 6 is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so now this multiplication is becoming a combination of addition and subtraction it becomes a combination of addition and subtraction so 1 by 12 1 by 12 it will become a combination of 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 combination of subtraction and addition 1 by 20 will become what 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 yes or no look at it 1 by 6 was this 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 1 by 12 was 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 1 by 20 was what 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 similarly we will go on till what the second last term will become 1 upon n minus 2 minus 1 upon n minus 1 that will be the second last term students what will the last term be the last term will be 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon n the last term will be this sure so now you have to cancel out now you have to cancel out the pluses and minuses very simple just cancel out the pluses and minuses minus 1 by 2 gets cancelled by plus 1 by 2 positive 1 by 2 which comes next negative 1 by 3 gets cancelled by positive 1 by 3 which comes next negative 1 by 4 gets cancelled by positive 1 by 4 which comes next similarly similarly negative 1 upon n minus 1 look at it negative 1 upon n minus 1 gets cancelled by positive 1 upon n minus 1 which comes next sure that is where the series ends that's where the series ends so from the from the last term i have negative 1 upon n which remains this particular term students this particular term this negative 1 upon n remains from the last term what remains from the first term this one remains from the first term so one remains from the first term negative one upon n remains from the last term so one minus one upon n one minus one upon n turns out to be the answer you can simplify it you can write it as n minus one upon n so if you like this smart way of teaching call upon the numbers and speak with our representatives become a part of our live classes our video courses if you've liked the video press the like button share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel god bless you all thank you so much